Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the second day of August, 2021, I'd like to take you to Jam Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. But before I do that, I'd like to thank you for joining us last night. That was an amazing show. Can Can, Gunny, and myself, um, we had, I think we witnessed history on the show last night. We had Salivate Metal and we had Silver Wolverine on there. And what a great show. I mean, we really talked about coins for a good 80% of the time there. And great show. So if you haven't checked that out, we got two hours and 41 minutes of awesomeness for you to check out. And um, can't say thank you enough to everybody who participated in that last night. Excellent, excellent show. Now, want to take you to Jam Bullion, look at the live spot prices. I'm going to go ahead and reload here. So it looks like gold is down $5.46 to 18 15 23 Silver's down a penny to $25.56. Platinum's up $9.68 to $10.72.78. And Palladium is up $11.05 to $2,704.80. Now, over here to the United States Mint and the Great American Coin Renaissance continues. Now, look at this. We have the... Big day today. It's the, well, we're not in May. No siree. We are in August 2nd. That means the John Tyler Presidential Silver Medal drops today. That's Prada S810. And then tomorrow, we know, mm, we know for sure that the Morgan Silver Dollars drop. That's the Denver Mint and the San Francisco Mint. And then, well, a short three days from now, one, two, three wake ups, one, two, three. We have this beauty right here, the American Eagle 2021 one tenth ounce gold two coin set. And that's the designer edition. So that's going to be lovely. And then shortly after that, five days later, bam, we're looking at the Morgan dollar from Philadelphia and then the peace dollar. And um, that's the one right there. Bam. And then two days after that, we're looking at the American Eagle silver uh, proof from San Francisco. Incredible. And then another five short days later, bam. The United States Coast Guard, two and a half ounce silver medal. Oh, and then two days after that, guess what? The high relief gold coin featuring that bucking um, horse. That is amazing. And then this here, and Silver Wolverine was talking about this. Um, he is anticipating the information on this um, every day. He, I, uh, he's saying he checks this. And I don't blame him personally. I mean, I'm all over the website too. Um, but for me, I always check out the top right uh, corner. And where it says 65 items here, I always look, whoops, 65 items found. I always look for the 66, uh, the pickup sticks ones. And um, whoo, it, when it does drop, when, it, when that information does come, I'm sure um, it's going to be all over the Internet. It's going to be all over the Internet. Now, today's drop is the John Tyler Presidential Silver Medal, and that is going to be $65. And this will be available for sale starting today at noon Eastern time. There is no mintage limit. There is no product limit. There is no household order limit. And these are pretty cool, actually. Um, now, this year's uh, this particular reverse is different. No, is that right? This reverse is peace and friendship. And this, I believe, is the standard reverse um, of this series, of these silver medals. And these products, you can enroll in them. And it says here, collect the Presidential Medal Series. Now, check this out. This is the William Henry Harrison Presidential Silver Medal. And this came out earlier this year. And the reverse of this one actually says, inaugurated President of the United States on March 4, 1841. And then he actually, well, died a month later. So they gave him that homage, right, a month later into his presidency, right? Um, gave him a different reverse because, well, not much was happening as far as peace and friendship. Um, and I believe he was the one I think we talked about in the stream last night where um didn't wear a coat out in the rain or in the cold and, uh, well, got a little sicky sick and didn't make it past a month. Now, look at this. Obverse designer, obverse engraver, uh, reverse designer, and reverse engraver, George T. Morgan. Can't go wrong there. Now, check this out. Now, Gunny had mentioned something last night on the stream that, you know, he was getting disappointed with some of the United States Mint's quality. And um, Texas Joe in particular was one of the ones uh, that he had mentioned that he felt really bad for because of the um, quality control at the Mint uh, as far as their um, production quality of the coins. You know, I don't think there's any reason to have any coins under Proof 70 um, with the technology we have today. And all that good stuff. You know, it really doesn't make that much sense that we're getting um, 
coins that are below uh, a 70, a proof 70, especially proofs. Um, MS, yeah, I could see that. But proofs, I would imagine those would definitely be um, the best top grade possible. And so because of that, I was looking for options and alternative for folks. And it says here, and this is from uh, Gainesville Coins, and it's published July 22nd, 2021. And it says here, what are the major coin mints? What coins and bullion products do they make? Now it goes over here, the government mints, and it talks about the United States mint. And I'll leave a link in the description below about what's going on here. The Royal Canadian mint, the Royal mint, the Perth mint, there it is, um, the Austrian mint, the China mint, the Mexican mint, the South African mint, private mints. That's got PAMP. It's got the Shun Sunshine Minting. It's got Johnson Maffey, Engelhard, and so on and so forth with Mason. So those are all the interesting products below. And if you're interested, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, this is huge news because one thing leads to another, just like that fixed song says. Now, it says here, shortage. That's what I looked up. And it's a very generic term. And um, it came up with labor shortage. Um, looks like supply shortages continue across the country. Here's a list of things that are um, in short supply. Now, um, there's copper shortages. Uh, toilet paper's back on the shelf, but grandma's got these. And uh, it's fueling a sellout of those. Uh, workforce shortage. Um, now, check this out. A nationwide chlorine shortage shuts down San Diego County pools. And we all know chlorine is used to disinfect and clean things, right? So that's kind of a huge deal right about now. Um, nursing shortage. Now, what's going on with the nursing shortages? So a lot of these nurses, um, they don't work in the hospitals anymore. They they work on, um, well, they got their car and then they go to different places, right? And that's what a lot of them are doing. And they don't work in the hospitals as much anymore. Um, Tahoe business, nationwide employee shortage. Check this out. American Red Cross is seeing a severe blood shortage. What? What's going on there? Well, I hope you don't need blood. Um, next one I wanted to show you was there's a jet fuel shortage. Now, when I say one thing leads to another, I think this is what I was really thinking about the most because this, if it, it does um, actually get worse, and probably will actually, um, if this jet fuel shortage get wor gets worse, the, um, the trucking industry and the trains will have to compensate um, for the transportation woes of the airline industry. So, um, trucking and, 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 and moving goods through trucking industry is going to get more expensive because of this, um, jet fuel shortage, um, packages will probably get delayed because there'll be a lot more ground services. I imagine if you do want something overnighted, uh, via a jet that will probably become more expensive just because that's how it works. Um, so jet fuel shortage. Um, and now check this out. I got another shortage. There's a food shortage for pet food. Go figure. Um, food shortage set to grip. Um, food shortage concerns. Uh, food prices increases. Shortages persist. Uh, and if you go to Taco Bell, you know you can't find any hot sauce, mild sauce, or Inferno, or whatever it's called there. Uh, is it Del Taco that has the Inferno? I'm not sure. But it's so wild because you can't get much stuff. And um, we did some shopping yesterday through Instacart and the shopper for us said that the um, store shelves were looking kind of empty. Uh, a lot of the people who worked at the Publix didn't show up or the people who restocked their inventory didn't show up either. So um, it's just getting really, really interesting. And to top it all off, the coin shortage persists. Now, is it a coin shortage per se? No. It's a circulation problem, and um, it seems to be getting a little bit worse, seeing how things are going to be going into you-know-what again. And it's going to push us closer to going into a digital dollar, I would think. So a lot of stuff going on, folks. It really is. And um, it affects all of us in major ways, in major, major ways, especially when it comes to prices. And um, when things become more expensive outside our hobby, it makes things buying uh, inside our hobby more, um, well, I guess out of reach because we have to use those resources in other places, regrettably. So what we do, what do we do to mitigate that, right? Well, we maybe grow our own food, right? 
maybe start a community garden with your neighbors if you have the land and the time or the resources. I think that would be a really good idea right about now. Anyway, folks, listen, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by today. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.